the Io Moth, a beautiful medium-sized Saturnid, spectacular animal. Everybody. Welcome back to Jack's River Wildlife. So we just set up our light trap and today we are looking for a very special type of Lepidopteran. Today we are looking for silk moths or Saturnidae. More specifically, I think we're right in the perfect time for Io moths or Automeris Io. These are super cool moths and hopefully we can find some. So let's sit around our light trap and see exactly what we can find. One of the first things to show up at the light were these giant army ant male drones, oftentimes called sausage flies, due to the fact that their abdomens look like elongate sausages. We also had some cool little rhinoceros beetles show up. This is Filiurus valgus, which is a relative to the Triceratops beetle. All right, so guess what, guys? We had exactly what we were looking for show up. Look at this spectacular Io moth. Come here. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful moth. Now, once again, these are Saturnids, which means they are silk moths. So essentially what that means for this beautiful moth here is that it has a greatly reduced adult lifespan. Oftentimes, many of these silk moths lack any mouth parts or digestive systems at all. And if they do possess them, they're very small and atrophied and they do not use them during their entire lives. So essentially, these animals have no way of eating. So you ask, well, that seems kind of dumb. How do they survive? They spend most of their time as caterpillars. Now, what's super cool about these caterpillars is that they possess venomous spines really all over the back, and they use these as defensive measures against predators. So they have these sharp little spines that are hollow that can inject venom when it's pressed up against, which is a great adaptation if you're a soft-bodied and very vulnerable caterpillar. Let's see if I can get this on my nose. Wow, take a look at that, guys. The Io Moth, a beautiful medium-sized Saturnid, spectacular animal. Look at that, isn't that cool? Whoa, a giant moth on my face. Oh. This is not one of the largest moths in Texas. In fact, we've got a few that are much larger, including the Polyphemus and Luna Moth, which hopefully we'll be able to feature this year as well. Take a look at that moth. Beautiful, beautiful moth. Look at these eye spots. I'll give you guys two guesses as to what these are for. These are for intimidation. So these moths, when they're resting during the day, they fold up their wings. But if something agitates them or there's a predator nearby, they open those wings up, exposing those big, intimidating eye spots in order to kind of ward off predators and might want to make a tasty snack out of these no longer venomous adults. What a cool, cool moth. Look at that, she's just chilling. So moths will navigate using light from the moon and from stars typically. So when they find a light source like my light trap here, they think, hey, I made it. I got, I got where I'm I was trying to go. And they'll just hang out. So she's kind of in like a chill stage. Usually during the day, these moths are not active. During the night, they fly out looking for mates for the first few hours of the night typically, and then they'll find somewhere to rest, to tuck away during the day um, to stay safe from predators. Look at that. Let's see if I can get her off of my nose now. Come here. Oh, that's actually a good shot right on my nose. <gasps> wow, cool moth. 
beautiful IO moth. Now, once again, these guys are super, super cool because of that really awesome venomous caterpillar stage. Uh, and they actually can sting pretty nasty. Uh, so it's a really interesting adaptation that helps these caterpillars survive uh, in the wild in order to make it to adulthood. What a cool little moth. Oh, easy. Let's see if I can get her off my nose now. Come here. Spectacular moths. Spectacular. Now, Lepidoptera, which is butterflies and moths, means scale wing. And that refers to the dust-like scales that coat these beautiful wings on moths and butterflies. That's why if you grab a butterfly, or a moth or a butterfly's wing and you kind of get that like silvery dust on you, those are actually individual little iridescent scales uh, that help hold up the structural integrity of these beautiful wings. Look at that. Look at her fuzzy little thorax. So sweet. Give her a little pet. What a cool, cool, cool moth. Now these are a favorite food of many of our native bat species. Uh, plenty of frogs, tree frogs will try and eat these as well. Praying mantises. Uh, so they're hot item on most everybody's uh, uh, lunch list, but obviously super beautiful. We don't wanna see any of them get eaten, but sadly that's the way many things go in the insect world. They are food for a lot of very important animals. Look at that. Super cool. Well, we got what we came here for, so I'm gonna shut down this light trap. We're gonna let this beautiful moth get back to doing whatever moth business it was up to in the first place. And hopefully, we can find some more stuff tonight uh, as we film for Jack's World of Wildlife. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, so you can support me in my mission to educate the world and to bring you entertainment as well. And, Remember, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more. Oh, we had a little visitor, a little beetle there. Oops, dropped him. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any new videos because we've got a ton of really cool, really awesome stuff coming out this year. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.